Well, hi, everybody. It's uh, that gratitude guy with another gratitude podcast interview regarding the pandemic. And today's guest is a friend of mine that, uh, gosh, I've known him a long time. I don't want to say how old we are, but we met like in the <laughs> 70s and things. So where do you go to find friendships you've had for 40 or maybe close to 50 years? I don't know. But uh, Doug Bailey from back in the Washington, D.C. area. Doug, good morning. How are you? Good morning, David. Yes, thank you for uh, not divulging our ages. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Even though the gray hair, gray hair would, might give us away, but so. yeah, that would be a giveaway. So, so as I mentioned on this, uh, I call it the podcast, uh, the Gratitude Podcast interview. I have a couple of questions. So let me start with this one, Doug. Uh, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Well, you know, it's a combination for me of, of trying to keep common practices, thing, things I was doing before, and yet having to adapt and you know, maybe finding something new out of it. Obviously, free time uh, is one of the advantages. So uh, I've been a you know, so-called gym rat working out, so I've shifted that to the home. I've uh, been able to take advantage of walking and we live in an environment with some fabulous uh, walking paths through the, through the woods. And, uh, Again, leveraging that technology. So I uh, do yoga, yin yoga, and YouTube has some fabulous uh, mm -hmm. courses there. So, uh, you know, pop that up on the, on the big screen, and, and my wife and I do that as uh, something we look forward to each day. Excellent. You know, we, we're lucky enough to be uh, avid cooks, so between cooks and then, of course, a little vino to go along with that. And uh, there's some great online resources for home delivery of, uh, of the ingredients, whether it's from Whole Foods or from some of the wine stores, whether they're, you know, a virtual store or some of our local guys. So I've been able to keep that up. Excellent. And, uh, I use a tool, and I'm not saying this because it's your smiling face there, but it's a tool called Delight Me. Mm. And it reminds me every morning to do my gratitude journal. Oh, great. Uh, I can also put other goals in there and it pops up every morning and then I can, you know, populate it in and, and keep track of that, of those goals. And so certainly the gratitude piece is, is my routine every morning. Excellent. Excellent. I always love people that are proponent of gratitude. That's all I talk about. So, so that's good. So excellent answer. So secondly, so during these uncertain times, what are you most grateful for? Well, you know, there's some little things that, again, we've taken for granted, but, um, you know, this is, this wasn't a storm, you know, so out here we get, you know, we might get some snow and have the snow days, but realize on those days you might lose power or we've had hurricanes and whatnot, but here we've got power, got, you know, unlimited supply of water, fresh water, and the climate has been mild. So, you know, I really grateful for those kind of basic uh, things like that. Excellent, excellent. And you had mentioned this to me earlier on an email, but I thought it'd be worth uh, mentioning to the folks watching in or uh, tuning in. Uh, any other tips, thoughts, ideas, or other things for things to do uh, while we're going through this? Well, you know, I've become a, a user of the library system. And it, it dawned on me, I do a fair amount of traveling and spent uh, three months in uh, uh, Italy, for example. And uh, while I, you know, I'm a decent speaker, I'm a slow reader, so I'm like, how am I going to get English books? So anyway, that had introduced me to the library system and ebooks online. So our libraries are all shut down, but the inventory of audio books and ebooks is there to search, and I can create a, a reading list. And so that's really been great to just, you know, being able to keep, keep up with all the reading. Um, so that's uh, one of the resources. And then, of course, we, I wouldn't have a, a good, complete day if I hadn't found some new joke or meme or video or something to share with friends. So uh, uh, we've been trading those back and forth and trying to uh, uh, keep it light. And in doing that, I reconnected with a former business contact from 25 years ago. Oh, really? Wow. It was just like, wow, uh, what were the chances of that? So I'm, that's uh, another thing I'm very happy about. 
That's good. And I'm, I'm glad you said that too, because I think as uh, that gratitude guy and, and being such a proponent of gratitude, uh, I had somebody not on one of these uh, podcasts, but somebody said to me the other day, well, just tell me what there is to be grateful for right now with all this terrible stuff that's going on. I said, well, there is a lot of terrible stuff going on. I says, but I mean, there's also a lot of good things that are happening. And I mentioned, I mean, look at the technology, but look how incredible this, I get to press a button and talk to my good friend, Doug Bailey, who's 3000 miles away for a press of the button. And there he is in his den or office or what have you. And the cell phones and the apps, and you mentioned delivering the food that never happened before you press a couple of buttons and they knock on your door an hour later. I mean, it's just, there's so many things, even the families that are sort of maybe being forced to get together are spending some family time, the kids or their, the wife or whatever it might be, that they wouldn't have had that. Otherwise, we're too busy. Go, go, go. So, so it's interesting. So those are, those are good tips. And so my last question is, so do you, does Doug Bailey have a quote or a philosophy uh, that kind of sustains you that you would say through not only these times, but just maybe in general? Oh, wow. That is, uh, that's a great question. I, I do keep, uh, next to my gratitude journal, I keep, uh, you know, various quotes that I like. Um, and of course, now that I'm on the spot, I can't think of any, but I'll share one with um, you. And I, I'll think of who the quote is soon enough. He's a Roman uh, philosopher and, and uh, senator. But uh, you talk about people getting lucky. And his, his said was, Luck is when opportunity meets preparation. Mm, mm -hmm. And uh, I just think of that often. That's, so that's a good one. You've got to be ready. And, and so-called luck, you know, you've got to take advantage of it when it's presented. So uh, that's uh, my quote. And I still can't remember his name. That's a good one, though. And I think about... Um... I, I see myself as a pretty positive person, but one time I can be a bit negative if somebody comes up and tells me as I walk off some stage talking to thousands of people or whatever it might be, and they go, you sure are lucky. And I go, no, 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 don't use that word with me. It's luck. And it's, if you want to call it luck, that's preparation and meeting opportunity and then coming out on the other side. So yeah. those are some great tips. And, and I thank you so much. I appreciate that. As I said at the outset too, just we can help one person that pays attention to something that Doug or David says or whoever it might be, it's helpful. And to me, it comes back to that old thing. If you want to help yourself, help other people. So, so thank you so much for being on the podcast. I really appreciate it. Great. Thanks, David. Ciao.